Well, grace, peace, mercy to all of you this day. Thanks for hopping on here to join me for another one of our midweek devotions here on our YouTube channel, Pastor JT, with you once again to help center your week in the middle of the week around one of the Psalms. We're going to be in Psalm 46, sharing verses 1 through 3 together. So if you have your Bible and you want to crack it open, once again, Psalm 146, verse 1 to verse 3. Excuse me. But um, before we get to that reading, let's uh, start our, our time off together with a word of prayer. Good and gracious God, in and through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, you pour out generously upon this world your grace and love and compassion, gifts that are with us at all times in our lives. May we be grateful that they are with us no matter what. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, how can we live like a truly grateful life? I think that's an important question for us to ask ourselves. I mean, how can, how can I live a truly grateful life? Now, on one hand, that answer seems easy, right? It's easy to simply be thankful for what you have in your life. Right? Whatever that might be that you can be thankful for, grateful for. But what about the things in our lives that we aren't grateful for? You know, the past experiences of pain and trauma, and the past rejections, the bad memories that we carry with us. How can you know, we truly live grateful lives if we're carrying these things that we're not really grateful for? Well, Henry Nouwen, uh a therapist and a theologian, he believes there's a way. And he writes, how can I live a truthfully, truly grateful life? When we look back at all that's happened to us, we easily divide our lives into good things to be grateful for and bad things to forget. But with a past thus divided, we cannot move freely into the future. With many things to forget, we can only limp toward the future. True spiritual gratitude embraces all of our past. The good as well as the bad events, the joyful as well as the sorrowful moments. From the place where we stand, everything that took place, it brought us to this place. And we want to remember all of it as part of God's guidance. Now, that doesn't mean that all that happened in the past was good. But it doesn't mean that even the bad didn't happen outside the loving presence of God. And once we, all of our past is kind of remembered in gratitude, right, then we're free to be sent to proclaim this good news to others. Now, Henry now, and he grounds our gratitude in the promise that God is present with us. Even in those moments of pain, of trauma, of rejection, God is there not as a source, but as an ultimate comfort. And that's something that the psalmist reminds us of in this psalm, Psalm 46, verses 1 through 3, where the poet writes, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, uh, we will not fear, though the earth should change, or the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. And all that we experienced in our lives, have experienced thus far, the good and the bad, and the ugly, right? it's all is what has led you to this place. And through all of that, God was present. So when we can look <clears throat> to the past and begin to see this promise of God's presence amidst all of that we have experienced, well, then I think we can move forward into a grateful life. Well, thank you for joining me today. Let's uh, close our time with a word of prayer. Almighty God, in Christ, you show us your desire to dwell with us and through the Spirit within us. 
May every day we be reminded of your presence, be grateful for your promises. And even when times are tough and things difficult, things we might want to forget, remind us that all we have experienced has helped to form and shape us and bring us to the place that we are at now. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you all for hopping on here today. Glad to be with you. We'll be back at it again next week, once again on Wednesday. But until then, uh, may God bless you all and have a great rest of your week.